Hey, it's Jenny. This time we're going to be talking about pinwheels. And pinwheels are constructed from half square triangles. People used to make half square triangles. This was such, a, now it's such an archaic method. But what they did was they drew the line halfway down the, or across the square diagonally, side to side. Then they layered their fabric, right sides together, and you sewed a quarter of an inch on either side of that line. You flip it around and sew down the other side. We've got our square sewn down the middle. Hopefully you sewed a straight line. Hopefully you're gonna cut it straight. And then you open it up and you hope those squares match. The method I'm going to show you will be to show you one square and you get four half square triangles out of it. It's so much faster. It's just amazing the difference this makes. So here we have our five inch square and we're going to lay it with a charm of a solid color. We're going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way around on the outside edge. All right, now we're going to cut diagonally from corner to corner, and then we're going to turn it and cut it diagonally again. There we go, it's amazing. You now have four half square triangles out of one square, and they're perfect. Now a lot of people might worry about this being cut on the bias. It helps a little bit when you're putting them together, you have a little bit of extra playroom, but as long as you're careful and just stitch them together, I just don't have any trouble with that that bias being too stretchy. So this is how our um, pinwheel is gonna begin. It's much, much faster than the, the way that we used to do it. There we go. And your half square triangles are exact. And line up. So instead of having to make two more of these, you now have four ready to go.